and that is lighting up those trees 220, 250 yards away. Okay guys, it's only Monday, but it's already been a busy week. Um, <clears throat> so just wanted to make a quick video to show something that I did this weekend that I'm pretty excited about. New light bar. Uh, ever since my rig before this one, I've wanted some good lighting to the rear. And I never did it on my last rig and finally got the chance to do it on this one. So um, we've always had, there it is, the uh, Baja Designs S1 pod in the Miso Custom Hitch Pod, which has been great, but added a 42 inch bar to the roof rack. Didn't do a video on the install because it's pretty basic. I'll show it to you here real quick, but it's just a 42 inch bar from Last Fit, mounted to the bottom of the rear bar of my Prinsu. Now, I did try mounting it to the rear surface on this surface, but uh, as I feared, it interferes with the, the spoiler. It hits when you lift the hatch barely you could probably modify the brackets to give you that extra eighth to a quarter inch clearance um but i just went ahead and mounted on the bottom because i knew it would fit and honestly i think it's growing on me i didn't know that i would care for it that low um but it works good i did come out here last night to uh see how bright it was and one of my fears was that it wouldn't hit the ground uh close to the rig but uh that's a non-concern and i'll show you why tonight when I come out here and, and light it up at night so you can see it. But again, pretty simple, 42 inch bar, mount it to the roof rack, wire just tucks into that little gap. It was really easy. It's actually easier to wire than I expected. So there's the wire. Sorry for the grime, I need to clean in here. And then I've got a DT connector so I can disconnect it. I use electrical tape just to hold it in place so it doesn't get in the way of anything. And then it just tucks down. I actually pulled the tail light out and it tucks behind there under the bumper cover and then it's wired up down by the spare tire. Um, and then to go inside, I mean, this is all going a little further out, but then it's just wired to that switch box, which goes to a fuse and relay box under the hood. It's a whole other situation. But like I said, I just wanted to kind of run over it real quick. 42 inch bar and uh we'll kick it on at night get the video of it um i'll kick it on now so you can kind of see I mean, it doesn't show much in the daytime it's obviously bright when you're looking at it but we'll kick it on anyways um and then i do plan on doing now that i think the lighting's pretty much complete uh i'll do a, a video that's just an overall you know all the lighting the headlights the low beams the high beams the fog lights the light bars we'll go over all that so let me just kick this on real quick. All right, so again, in the daytime, it's obviously gonna be bright when you look into it, no doubt. Um, that's not that's not good, that sucks even in the daytime. Okay, <laughs> like I said, we'll come out, uh, if not here, someplace else at night. I did it last night just to see what it looked like and it was bright. I'll do it again tonight and get some video of it, so. And maybe I'll wash the rig today. Went to a job site last week and got all muddy, but it's the name of the game. So, all right, we'll check back in when it gets dark. All right, guys, so we're back in a, a similar area just to show uh, how bright these lights are. Um, I do have a GoPro mounted to the back just to give a little bit of perspective. Uh, you probably can't see much because it's dark out, but uh, there's trees out there, let's say 220 yards away. Um, first, let's kick on the Baja Designs S1, just so you can get an idea. So again, it doesn't do bad for backing up into most situations. Um, it's plenty of light. Let's kick on the light bar. And that is lighting up those trees 220, 250 yards away. Um, so again, kick that off before we blind somebody. So again, Baja Designs S1 pod in the hitch and a 42 inch last fit bar in the roof rack facing to the rear. It's an impressive. We'll kick them on one more time. So it's just the light bar. 
and then the F1 pod. Yeah, that's a decent amount of light. So, all right, guys. Um, I'll pop some pictures on my Instagram and stuff of showing how the light bar is mounted, but it's, it's pretty basic. It used the brackets came with no modifications, quarter inch carriage bolts. I think I used one inch long ones uh, on the bottom of the last rail. Super simple. So, hope you guys like it.